Could the fuel for a clean energy revolution be found underwater off the coast of Catalina? Our Philip Palmer with the undersea solution that could be fueling our future. Something amazing is happening off the coast of Catalina Island at the USC Wrigley Institute for Environmental Studies. The U.S. needs billions of tons of biomass every year for biofuel. Corn, soybeans, and other land crops are most common, but come with indirect negative environmental impacts, along with the economic and moral consequences of choosing between food or fuel. With three-fourths of the Earth's surface covered in water, kelp might be part of the solution. You know, I think we just made a major breakthrough. I think kelp as a biofuel source has been you know, investigated for, for a while, but how to grow it on a scale that is commercially relevant has been, has been the missing piece. Beginning in 2019, Marine Bioenergy and USC researchers began testing a concept to farm kelp in the open ocean. Kelp is one of nature's fastest growing plants and is considered perfect for making bioethanol, but it naturally grows in water bathed in sunlight up to about 60 feet. In the open ocean, water near the surface is nutrient poor, but loaded with nutrients in deeper waters. Trying to take advantage of both was the inspiration for what's being called a kelp elevator. We can protect the kelp, we can protect all the hardware, and since we have to go down to the nutrients every night anyway, this is easy to do. A test buoy and a winch were placed off the coast of Catalina Island. USC biologists attached kelp to an underwater boom, then for 104 days surfaced the kelp during the day to absorb sunlight and at night dragged the kelp over 260 feet deep into nutrient-rich waters. In a study published February 19th, the researchers found the kelp not only survived the lower depths and the return to the surface, it grew four times faster than kelp grown naturally. I screamed in joy a little inside. Yeah, some people were sure it would work, some people were sure it wouldn't work. I was more on the fence where I just had no idea what would happen. And so, uh, you know, when we started to get the first pictures of um, the kelp growing on there, it was just, yeah, this is amazing. Like, it's really, it's really growing. A plan is in development to build a pilot scale ocean farm, which would be depth cycled using solar powered drone submarines and then harvested four times a year without requiring land and fresh water, artificial fertilizers, or pesticides. Millions of tons of biomass to replace liquid fossil fuel could be created at competitive prices. Our farms aren't going to be really close to the coast, but to the degree that all the nutrients flood all over the ocean and we help absorb some of those nutrients, that's beneficial because sometimes it's just too many artificial nutrients dumped into the ocean through runoff from agriculture and so on. Philip Palmer, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Let's hope it works. What a great story. Get ready for some wind to blow in tonight. Power